Hi guys, this is Anderson Thiago from New Wave Traditional Heavy Metal Full Albums. I just got back from Keep It True Festival. It was an amazing experience. I met so many friends from the internet, so many metalheads who like the work I do on the channel, so many bands. It was great because they always said positive things about my work here. I was amazed by the way that I was treated there. Thank you so much for it. If you were there, thank you so much for coming to talk to me. If you weren't there, I wish I'd meet you sometime because this is what metal is about. It's about getting together and listening to heavy metal music. I will talk more about Keep It True in the next video that's going to be my metal mailbox from Keep It True. And this is something that I received before I was going to Keep It True. And I didn't have the time to record then because I was running, doing things and I couldn't record. I even tried to record in a different manner that it's not like a normal metal bear box but I couldn't edit. It's a metal bear box coat metal classics special because I was contacted by Manos from Sonic Age Records and Coot Metal Classics. It's a label and a subdivision from Greece and he said he liked my work here on the channel and he wanted me to send me some stuff but they don't release newer bands they release uh, obscure heavy metal releases and he sent me a feel of them and I want to show them to you because they are pretty nice the first one is Valhalla Unnerved this band is an American band they were active during the 80s but they didn't record anything but in 1992 they recorded a few songs and they were previously unreleased until Cult Meta Classics put out this one it's their newest release and I'm going to make it available on the channel because they asked me to do and I have a playlist on this channel called Metal Legends that's just for these kind of releases and one funny thing is that the singer here Keith Flax sings in the first song of the next album I'm going to show you and it's Glacier the self-titled EP six songs so he sings in When Heaven's at Hand and we have another singer in Vendetta and the original singer Michael I have him on my Facebook I think, he's my friend on Facebook, he sings on the other songs. So Glacier, you probably know it because it's an amazing album. And the next one we go to England to the new wave of British heavy metal and it's one that people were very curious about, it's Crucifixion, it's the anthology 1980 to 1984 and it contains pretty much everything that they released including the single Take It or Leave It so we have here 13 songs by Crucifixion and many people asked me yes it's a release with the permission of the band you having an uh, interview with one of the members of the band on the booklet I will post some pictures of all the booklets on my Facebook page so you can uh, look at them there because one of the things I like most about these reissues is the care that they have telling the story of the band. So many of these releases have some kind of biography or an interview with one of the members asking some questions about the time that the songs were recorded and the band was active and I like this very much. The next one is uh, another one pretty well known. It's Mantas or Mantas, depending how you pronounce. It's the Winds of Change album. This one doesn't have any biography or interview because it's a reissue from an album that was released at the time, was officially released at the time. So it's just a um, uh, normal reissue and what I like about this album is we have Mentas from Venom 
in a totally different style, more melodic, more hard rock, and this picture is pretty fucking awesome. The next one is, we are still in England, that this one is an obscure new wave of British heavy metal band that's called Trial by Fire, and the album is self-titled, we have seven songs, and there's an interview with one of the members on the booklet, so if you want to know more about the band, just buy it and read the interview. I'm going to ask Manos if I can make any other of these albums available on the channel other than the Valhalla that he asked me to and this is one I think you will want to hear Trial by Fire self-titled This next one is Swedish Chef Metal It's more like melodic I think like the first two albums by Europe and I'm talking about Interaction this album is called Warriors, it's actually a double album. So you have here 16 songs on one side and 13 songs on the other side, 29. And they even say on the booklet that they say that they have so many songs from the time that they could release another double CD. So it's Interaction Warriors. So if you like more melodic heavy metal, it's a good one for you, Swedish heavy metal. And this next one is Dutch, Dutch heavy metal, and I'm talking about Final Harris in the Shadows of Pain. This one is a, I think it's a pretty obscure release because I live in the Netherlands and I, I heard about many, many Dutch bands, but I haven't heard about this one, and I'm pretty curious to hear because as I got this package, just before I left for Keep It True, I didn't have the time to listen to everything. But this one I'm pretty curious about, Final Harris in the Shadows of Pain, Dutch Half Metal. And this is the last one, and this is the only one that's not Half Metal, it's Trash Metal, and I'm talking about Dark Deception, Sadistic Intentions. This album contains 9 songs and is actually comprised of 2 demos, one released in 88 and the other one released in 99. So, Dark Deception, Sadistic Intentions. I would like to say thank you to Manos and Costas from Sonic Age Records and Cult Metal Classics for sending me all of those CDs. My channel is not focused on these kind of records, it's focused on new bands, but even so, they like my work, they trust the channel to make these albums known to the public that are going to buy it, because I know when you guys like an album, you buy it and these cult obscure heavy metal releases that we couldn't listen to if it wasn't for these labels like Cult Metal Classics, No Remorse Records, Skull Records and many others that I can't remember now. This is awesome to have the opportunity to listen to these albums that unfortunately for some trick of fate they didn't get the recognition that they deserved in the past and now we have the chance to make justice for them so thank you so much Manus, Costas thank you so much for all of you who list, who watch the channel and if you like to support the channel to keep things going here and who knows allow me to work more on the channel in a more regular basis because it's too much work to find the bands to talk to the bands to make all the videos and to bring all the best that's new out there and if I could dedicate myself more to the channel I think it would be even better so with your help we can do that if you want to help the channel donate to the patreon account that is on the description if you don't do patreon no problem if you use paypal you can give a donation through paypal the email is also on the description and i thank you so much for it stay metal and 
I love Keep It True. I want to return there. See you next.